At Andrew Jackson High School, students are only allowed to enroll in AP U.S. History if they have already taken AP World History or AP European History. Out of 825 incoming seniors, 165 took AP World History. So World History is 165. Uh, 66 took European History. So European, there are 66 of them. And 33 took both, so both of them, so W and E took, or 33, okay. Given this, oh, and there's a total of 825 altogether. Given this information, determine the probability a randomly selected incoming senior is allowed to enroll in AP U.S. History. So they are allowed to enroll so probability of U is equivalent to probability of W or E. And why is that? Well, that's because they will uh, only allow students who to take U U.S. history if they have either taken world history or European history. So the probability of students taking U.S. history is equivalent to the probability of... Um, students who have taken world history or the probability of students who have taken European history. Okay, so knowing this fact, uh, P, W, or E will be equivalent to, because there is this center, um, because there is uh, this condition, okay, that, um, and this overlap, the formula for calculating the probability of uh, students, finding students who have taken world history or European history, is not simply the addition of these two probabilities. But we have to also subtract the probability of um, students taking both subjects together. So, W and... So if we apply this conditional probability uh, formula, we can then uh, solve for the probability of students who have taken U.S. history. So looking at this, I know that PW is 165 over the total, which is 825. And the probability of students who have taken European history is 66 over 825. And because there's an overlap, we have to subtract. So, uh, and that would be 33 over 825. And what would that be? That would be 160, no, 198 over 125, over 825 then. So probability of students taking U.S. history would be 198 over 125. And, and a visual way of thinking about this is, you know, we have this Venn diagram where, you know, in one group here is students who have taken world history, another group here are students who have taken European history, and then overall are all the students all together, there's 825 of them. So there's 165 here, and then there's 66 here, and then there's 33 there, right? We're looking for the probability of W or E, right? So we need all of this area and add it with all of this area, right? So how are we going to do that? So again, the visual way of thinking about, is, about this is 165 over 825 plus 66 over 825 but because we have that overlap there we have to subtract by 33 over 825 right because the 165 and the 66 they take up um, like all of those two things together so that's why we have to subtract out that area, which I'm going to highlight in red. 
So that's the area that we have to subtract out. And the result of that will be the probability of W or E. So this is W or E. Again, because there is that overlap, there is that condition that we have to um, take into consideration.